He's been everywhere, man. He's John Egypt, our travel guru. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Leo. He joins us every week to help us travel better with technology. And in fact, uh, is probably one of the hot people this week after the United fiasco. There's some technology there. We learned about it before anybody did from passengers on that Chicago to Louisville plane who shot video of one of the passengers being dragged off against his will. Now, Johnny, there was a lot of misinformation when this happened. And one thing, and I'm sure you'll say this, is that in every case, the pilot and the airline have the right to t kick people off the plane for whatever reason, right? Correct. Unfortunately, that is the rule. So, it's yeah, not unfortunate. That has yeah. to be the rule. I understand why that's the rule. He's the captain of the ship. Yeah. So I, But I understand that. I mean, what you can ding United for, and I do ding them for, is a couple of things. First of all, and I understand they're going to change this, they shouldn't let passengers board and then decide to bump them. If you're going to bump somebody, bump them before they get on and get comfortable. And I have been bumped. I told you I was bumped. I can't remember which airline did it. But they came to me. Uh, we had we had standby seats, so I understand I wasn't a you know full fledged passenger, and I and I wasn't uh, you know an executive or anything like that. I wasn't a one k. But uh, they came to me and and Lisa, and they said, "Well, the plane is overweight, so you'll need to get off." Now I for whatever reason, I guess I because I was standby, I felt like well, all right. So I got I didn't fight it. I got off, and right. then two people who have, of equal size got on, and then I realized oh. That they lied to me because they had somebody who was a higher category or something. Or maybe, as in this case, they had to uh, move airline personnel. Well, I've heard a couple different things. One, I heard that actually the four flight attendants were actually on vacation and they were trying to get back to Chicago. See, that's not okay. And I don't know if that's true, but supposedly they were friends with the gate agents. And again, people keep forgetting this wasn't United Airlines. This was actually Republic Airways. Yeah, but it's a United Express franchise. It was United Regional Flight. Right. But they also fly for other airlines, Republic. It's not just United. Yeah, I understand. And it, so it's a question of, but the gate agents are from United. Oh, for sure. And, and you know what? The problem is, is that, again, you know, they should have handled it a lot differently. Obviously. That's my only complaint. That's my only complaint, is that this is bad customer relations on United's part. And certainly injuring a passenger seems like a bad idea. idea. Now, now, Apparently, Dr. Dow, uh, you know, I mean, he refused to get off. That's a problem, right? You you can't refuse to get off if you're being told you have to get off the flight. You have to get off the flight. United has the right to do that. Just as if you come into my place of business and I ask you to leave, you have to leave. And if somebody refuses to leave and is disruptive, I might have to call the cops too. One would hope that the person doesn't lose two front teeth, get his nose broken and concussed in the process. We learn now also they, they happen to have lost his luggage. But he wasn't but he wasn't, you know, acting disruptive. He was he disruptive. Wasn't disruptive at all. So I mean there was Well, but he was problem. disruptive because he wasn't getting off. Well, they should have gone to someone else. So, you know, United says it was random the way they choose people, but you know, the way not to get uh, involuntarily bumped is a few different ways. First, you definitely want to check in online twenty four hours in advance. You know, and you want to get a seat assignment. So make sure, because once you have a seat assignment, you have a you know you're much better chance of um, of getting not getting booted. Actually, my sister got booted once because she did not check in. She checked in when she got to the airport, and her and her family were going to Barbados for Christmas, and the flight was oversold. And she called me up crying. I was like, well, you know what? Don't be crying. Don't don't cry because you know what? You can get some money out of this. Just tell the flight tell the gate agent you want thirteen hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. And she, and she told the gate agent, and the gate agent's like, okay, just kind of be quiet. Don't say anything. Just stay to the side, and I'll, get, I'll write you guys checks. She didn't want everyone else to know because I guess they bumped a lot of people that day. Well, and by the way, United could have offered Dr. Dow or somebody more money. They stopped at uh, twice the ticket f uh, face value. Um, and had they offered more, I'm sure eventually as they went up, you know, to pay somebody uh, a couple of thousand dollars to get off the flight, is a lot better than losing seven hundred and seventy million dollars in stock value. Well, everyone has a price, and that is where they messed up. You know, they should have just kept going up. They went to four hundred, then to eight hundred. Supposedly, they went to a thousand, although that's not confirmed. And but you know, if they went up, to there's so much misinformation on this too. The there's so much. There's so much we don't know. So, but 
but Delta is brilliant, by the way, because Delta came out yesterday. You know, they sent an internal memo to all their agents because before their gate agents were only allowed to go up to eight hundred dollars, which you know is the case probably with United because United usually copies everything Delta does. And then, and then, but supervisors are allowed to go up to two thousand dollars. So now Delta saying gate agents can go up to two thousand, and the supervisors can go up to almost ten thousand ninety nine fifty. Which is incredible. I don't think they're ever gonna, anyone's ever going to see that kind of money. But just the point that they allow it to the supervisors is a great PR move. It, it's ideal to get somebody to voluntarily give up their seat. And if they needed four seats on a plane, there had to be a point at which they would say, okay, hey, I'll do it for 1500 bucks, or I'll do it for 2000 There had to be a number. Hey, and, and as United is realizing, if you look back at it, <laughs> this is a much... <laughs> a much better way to get these people off. Listen, I know a tons of people who who try to get bumped on purpose to right. make extra travel money, and I've done it. In I got nothing, by the way, for being. Times. I got nothing for being bumped because the plane was overweight. Should, well, you should you should send an email. Actually, I just sent an email to American yesterday for for canceling my flight, and they just sent me fifteen thousand miles. Yeah, I was a little insulted that they thought I was so fat that they had to get me off the flight. <laughs> I'm not that fat. Well, well, if you want to get bumped and make some extra money, this is how you do it. Yeah. You know, you, you, you book flights during busy peak periods, and you can look at flight loads. You can look at the, you know, go online, look at the seating charts, or you can even call the airline, find out what the loads are. And really, is there any reason why an airline should be bumping people who are already seated? No. They really should and figure that out before you board the plane. Unless the plane's too heavy or, you know, safety reasons. So, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Maybe for so this is, by the way, what went through my mind. Are you telling me the plane is sitting on a scale right now and you know if you get my 220 pounds off, everything will be okay? On regional carriers, yeah. They know. They know. I've been asked to move to the left side of the plane. I've been asked to do that. I don't mind doing that. But how do they know what the weight of the plane is after the passengers get on? Do they have a scale? I, I assume so, but you're going to have to ask. They him. don't have a skit. Give me a break. I, 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 hey. What do they pull up to the truck stop and weigh themselves? No, they don't no, know. I, I would and they so. don't know how much I weigh, and they don't know how much the people who got on weighed. I don't know. I don't know about that. you got to ask a pilot. But, but I have to recognize the pilot is God on that plane. And really, as a passenger, you should want that, unless the pilot's nuts. You should I, want I, that because the pilot is ultimately responsible for your safety. Right. And he needs to be able to say things like, get off the plane. Yeah. But if you want to get bumped, you know, you can make money. And, you know, over 500,000 people were bumped in 2016, and most of them walked away. They were happy. Yeah. You know what? You're, you can get extra money. And, you know, what? so if you want to volunteer, go to the agent right when you check in and tell them that you're willing to um, be bumped. Then go to the gate and tell them again and stay by the gate. Don't go too far. So right when they announce it, they need uh, people. You're you're the first in line, and then you can always negotiate and try and get you know make sure you get on the next flight or whatever you want to, and try and get in first class, try and get meal vouchers or lounge access. But and you got to be nice. Don't don't be a jerk because you know then then nothing's going to come out of it, out of it. So it turns out, thanks to the chat room, the 707, the 747, and the L1011, uh, uh, when used as freight flights have weights in the scale in the wheels have scales in the wheels they can tell okay. the weight but that's because freight think... flights can be quite heavy typically not used on passenger flights okay i would think the reason because the regional carriers they've they have to i understand they have to rearrange and that's johnny jet he's at johnnyjet.com he's got a lot of articles about this including details about delta's new compensation plan go there follow him on twitter where this conversation continues and uh, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Johnny. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.